Hello, one big thing we all know about when it comes to Chromebooks and Chrome OS is the AUE date. It's an absolute pain for so many people and I totally understand why it is a pain. I have done a video to show you how you can install Cloud Ready once your Chromebook AUE date is expired and that works but it's a total faff. You have to open up your Chromebook and mess about with the internals and then install the software. So it's not ideal. We all know that Google has bought Neverware and they're the people who created Cloud Ready. So maybe in the future, Google will do it. So when your, your Chromebook gets to the AUE date, it then gives you the option to install Cloud Ready without having to open up your Chromebook. However, another thing we should be looking at because it's very difficult to know where Google is going and how they're gonna do things. But there's been talk for over a good year now um, that Google are working on separating the browser from the Chrome OS operating system. At the moment, Chrome OS and the browser is all linked into one. It, it, it's not something, if they want to in, update the browser, for example, they can't do it without really updating Chrome OS. It's all really interlinked. So they've been looking at changing that. Now, I've read lots of different articles online. There's some really good articles and it's still very difficult to know when it will happen. However, I've come to a theory of when I think it will happen, and that's based on the fact that Chrome OS and Chrome, the Chrome browser, at the moment we're on Chrome OS 94, and I believe Chrome OS 95, we will skip Chrome OS 95, and then we'll go on to Chrome OS 96. Now the reason they're skipping Chrome OS 95 is because they want to get the version number at the same as the Chrome browser number. So they'll both be in sync. So instead of the Chrome OS being a one behind with Chrome OS 95, if it did come out, it would go, it would skip Chrome OS 95. So from 94, we go straight on to Chrome OS 96, and that is then they'll be in sync. And that works on the basis as well that they said Chrome OS updates will no longer be six weeks, they'll be four weeks. And that works with the updates for the Chrome browser. So they'll be in sync. Now that suggests to me, and it is just what, what I'm thinking, but I, 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 it makes logical sense to me, is that once that's done, they will then look at separating the browser. So they've been working on, it's called Lacroix. I don't know how you pronounce it, all the different parts of the world. When I think of Lacroix, I think of watching Absolutely Fabulous. You might know about that um, program if you live in the UK or even in the USA. I'm sort of sure some people watch it, but it sounds like that to me. But it, it basically means um, it's the Chrome browser for Linux and it's the Chrome browser for Linux on the Chromebook. So the, the, the idea will be is that the browser will be separated from Chrome OS and you'll have a new browser and it will be the browser for Linux. Now you'll use it just the same as you do at the moment. So when you open up your Chromebook, the browser will be the same. The settings may be a bit different because you will it will no longer all be interlinked. So at the moment when you change certain settings on your browser, that also that may change in the future, but we'll have to wait and see. But I do strongly believe that we will see um, the, the separation of the browser and the operating system from Chrome OS 99, Chrome OS 100. I'm guessing, but I, I think that makes good logical sense. So I don't want to get people's hopes up, but I, I really do think we will see something early next year, around January, February 2022, maybe a bit longer. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But you know, we, we, we're all really second guessing on this, but I do truly believe that we will see that coming in the future. Now, it, it, that that's definitely is going to happen. And, and that will mean that, um, it's just the date of when it will happen, but that will mean then that because the Chrome browser is separated from Chrome OS, it will mean you will be able to use the Chrome, the new Chrome browser and still get updates even after the AUE date. So when the AUE date expires, yes, you'll no longer get Chrome OS updates, but your browser will still get updates so you're kept safe and secure. And I think that's an excellent compromise. You can't really expect to also get Chrome OS updates because the whole point of the AUE date is that Chrome OS needs to be able to advance without it 
to advance so it doesn't impact people with new Chromebooks and so we can move forward with Chrome OS and it can't to, to, to do that it's not possible to to be compatible with all of the Chromebooks that have gone past in the, in, in, in the history that's why the AUE dates is there so with the new method although it won't update Chrome OS I think if, if, we, if we're being honest with ourselves you get eight to eight and a half years now anyway the main thing is okay you may stop getting chrome os updates but at least you know you can still surf online with a chrome browser that is still getting them vital important security patches so it's really good news as i says i i i, I I'm, I'm sort of guessing but I'm, I'm looking at reading different articles and thinking well if that's they're doing that then and then it just makes sense to me that that is when it will happen if not i'm sure it will be sometime next year i don't think it will go on much longer but my guess is it'll be around february march time so I hope that video helped. If it did, please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.